what's poppin and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman guys we are back out here at the pond that I was fishing at at the end of the last video and we're back out here trying to catch ourselves another giant bass I've been on these fish recently they've been just hammering the blade bait out here I'm hoping that is going to be the same case today the only thing that I am worried about as you can see behind me it is nice and stormy we got these clouds rolling through and it's been raining like crazy the like last two days and it's been a super hot rain so what that does is when this water's super cold it's gonna make that temperature spike up really fast especially in a little small pond like this I mean I didn't like take the temperature or anything like before and after so I don't know exactly how much it jumped but there's probably a good chance it jumped 10 degrees or more just by like feeling it with my fingers and what that does is those fish are just going to kind of shut down uh, pretty bad when you have a bad temperature spike or drop so with that in mind I'm just going to have to kind of get out here and start throwing around and see how they react I hope they're still biting it might be more of a grind today to get some of those bites but I definitely think I should be able to get a few but let's go ahead and run over here to the gear basically the same deal as the last few videos probably going to be throwing this blade bait the majority of the time especially just because they've been biting that so good might throw the jerk bait a little bit and then obviously we got the underspin on here and if none of that works I'll probably go tie on a drop shot or something like that and really slow it down for these finicky bass but without further ado let's get to it and hopefully catch us a giant let's go ahead and grab this blade bait right here and before I give her a toss just gonna check the line real quick make sure there's no nicks and there actually is one so let me retie this really quick that's definitely something I don't want on there looks like it's all good so let me go ahead and get this thing out there check the drag real quick I actually decided to switch rods just because I uh what's it called the leader on that other one was running real thin there was pro probably only like I don't know like three feet of it left so I wanted a nice long leader for this clear water Well guys, these fish are proving to be pretty finicky right now. I've been fishing for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so and I haven't had a single bite. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different here. I'm just gonna try to speed this thing up and fish it really fast and see if I can't just trigger a bite by just going by one of these big fish's face super fast and then just reacting to it. There's one. We got one. First one of the day. Ha <laughs> ha. Finally, it's been a drought. I figured I'd try a different area of the pond. I've been catching all of them kind of out here and I really haven't walked around the pond at all. So I figured I might as well try it. And sure enough, my first little area that I tried produced a fish. Maybe they pushed up into some of the shallower water. And there we go. That's a nice chunky one right there to start the day. Solid two pounder fill it out as can be and I cannot complain let's go that definitely gives me some confidence there I'm going to kind of try to like work down this bank down here and see if I can't catch any more uh, this whole area over here is probably the deepest part of this pond but this pond is not deep at all I mean at the most it's like five or six feet and that's a uh, that's <laughs> I don't even know if it's that deep to be honest and this side gets really shallow so I didn't think these fish would like I don't know I guess correlate to the depth of this pond as much as they do in other places just because in general it's so shallow but maybe they do so let me go ahead and release this puppy let her swim back on out there and see if we can't find another one Oh, another one, two casts in a row. Oh, that feels like a good one, guys. That feels like a good one. That fish is pulling. That fish is pulling. Oh, guys, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think I might have him foul hooked. 
Come here, bud. Just nice and slow. Nice and slow. What is this? Is this a bass? I think it's a bass. What is it? Is it a bass? Oh yeah, it is a bass. I just have him foul hooked in the back right there. <laughs> Two casts in a row. Um, I don't know if he swung at this or not, but I definitely foul hooked him. Got him. <laughs> there we go. Hooked him right there in the, the back fin. I thought that was going to be like a, a five plus pounder just because he had so much power right there pulling on that bait because he was hooked in the back. He had all the leverage he needed to give me a nice run, but hey, I'll take that. Two fish, same spot. Let's keep it moving. She, oh, she's ready. She's ready to roll. Later. Can we go uh, three for three in this spot? Maybe, it's possible. Seems like they're stacked. Oh, I just got hit. Oh my gosh, they're over here. They are over here. That is for sure. Well, looks like things are about to get exciting, I hope. I mean, that's three bites in like not even five minutes and I've been out here, I don't know, 50 minutes or so, an hour. Uh, maybe there's some out here. It's definitely a lot shallower out here in the middle than it is where I've been fishing. There's one. Oh my God, it came off. That was a good one. Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. He didn't even move, man. That fish did not even move. I thought it was a snag at first and then it started moving. Crap. Well, I found them, guys. They're in this area for sure. I mean, that's a bunch of little strikes and those two fish pretty quickly over here. They're definitely not like hammering the crap out of it by any means. They're just kind of poking at it, which is why I think these fish have just not hooked themselves. They probably just barely swiped at it and I got lucky with the first two, but I'm probably gonna have to kind of just get multiple strikes here to hook up. When they're just not committing to it, it can make it difficult to hook up with them. Thankfully, with this little blade bait, these are really small petite hooks and they're ultra light, which makes it really easy for these hooks to actually hook a fish if they get them like in them. Just the one thing you have to be careful when fishing with hooks this light is your drag. So you don't want it to be able to like actually bend out the hook before it snaps the line or anything like that. Okay, let's get it back out there. Gotta find ourselves another one. There's gotta be another big fish in the area surprised at how much these fish actually pushed up i would not expect the the warm rain to push them up as much as hit much as it has there oh gosh that was another big fish man they're just not committing to it they're not committing to it i'm sure y'all saw the wake there they're just nipping at it ah shoot 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 they're stacked on this bank though i mean they're all about that same distance off probably about i don't know 30 yards or so 25 yards they're all in that same area oh it just sucks when there's nothing you can do about these fish getting hooked up i promise you guys there's not really much i can do to make sure these fish get hooked up i mean they're just reacting to me cranking this thing and pausing it and i mean there really isn't a better hook for me to use than a super light wire treble hook i mean that's by far going to be the most effective at just snagging a fish really quickly if they're just swiping at it and just not committing so oh just got to keep going after it just shake every miss fish off and just keep hammering them until i get one oh god i just got slammed i just got slammed they're just pecking man they are pecking the crap out of it. they just won't inhale the thing I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna yo-yo it through here, see if they'll react to that and actually eat the dang thing. And of course, first yo-yo, I get gunk on it. So we'll get this in and try that again. There we go. 
Got him there. Got him finally. We're hooked up. Got him with that yo yo. Finally committed to that first little hop in there. And we got him. Can't tell how big he is. He's definitely pulling pretty good. Making a run for that bank right there. Come on in here, bud. Come on in here, buckaroo. Hammer the absolute piss out of it too on that yo-yo. Let's sling him on in here. Another healthy two. And this is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. They are just barely swiping at these things. This came right out of there. He was only pressure hooked. And this was just barely hooked in there. I think there was only like one, maybe two of these treble hooks on the very outside of his lip right there. So when they're biting like that, it makes it extremely difficult to hook them sometimes because they just don't commit. They don't actually try to eat the dang thing. They're just kind of swiping at it out of reaction. So, you know, it goes how it goes, but hopefully we find ourselves a big one, but I will take these little twos until we find ourselves a good one. All I know though, guys, is I have found them. They are stacked in this like one area off this bank probably just about that distance maybe a tad bit farther but every time i come across that area i'm getting popped or every few casts at least well i fished this spot pretty thoroughly i'm going to keep on moving around this pond and i'll probably come back here i'll let these fish just relax for a little bit they should reload on it whether it's the same fish that are already there or some more fish moving into the area i'm sure if i leave it alone for like 45 minutes to an hour i can probably come back and get a bite or two because they were stacked up in there i mean goodness gracious i mean that was just some quick fast action and they shut down after i kind of stirred it up a little bit but let's keep on moving and maybe we find another little area that's got them loaded up in. There's one. Got him. <laughs> Let's go. Found another little area where there might be a few hanging out. It looks like an, another, I don't know, uh, maybe two pounds or so. About the same size as the ones we've been catching. Got him on the yo-yo. And let's swing her right on to the bank. Yeah, buddy. Got a hold of her and finally one that ate it a good bit. She actually had both hooks in her mouth which is a, a good sight to see. I'm glad she ate that yo-yo technique a little bit better than they've been biting just the straight crank. Finally got that thing out of there. That one was stuck in there pretty good, but another solid two. I mean, every single fish I've been catching in here, guys, has just been so filled out, so healthy, and I just love to see that. I mean, that comes with this time of year. They get all nice and bulky and fat for the spring and the spawn, but man, is it fun catching them when they look like that. Time to send her on her way. There she goes. Okay, let's get back out there. I'm hoping there might be at least one more fish hanging out there. There's one. There we go. I can't tell how big this fish is. This one feels a little bit better. It's definitely giving me a good fight. Definitely gonna take my time with him. He's not wanting to budge. Um, how big is this fish? I cannot tell. He, he is dogging me though. Goodness gracious. Oh, uh, oh yeah, it's a, it's a healthy one. Well, it means no just absolute behemoth, but it is a healthy fish all day. I think that's probably the best one we've caught. <laughs> and this one ate it good too. Look at that. 
he got a i wouldn't say like amazing but he got both hooks in them i love releasing them in this super clear water so fun watching them swim off well that about does it for today hopefully y'all enjoyed it unfortunately i missed my opportunity at some of the bigger fish that i hooked today over there on that little bank over there and you know that happens it's what makes fishing fishing and it'd be called catching if it was any other way but hopefully y'all enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you want to go the extra mile make sure to check out the merch at fletcherthefisherman.com but as always bass in his passion peace